what's up everyone welcome to another video today well tonight actually but it's like eight o'clock we are at, back again at the aqueduct i'm going to talk on you becky uh, hi. torch i'll spot if you okay with that mm. right, cool um we are back at the aqueduct now does my thumb just pressing on it but um yeah, so back here tonight for another paranormal investigation. As you know, last time, um, a, not a, a, um, I got some EMF reading underneath the aqueduct. So I'll add that clip right here. I'm back here, everyone. Um, we're going to see if we can get any spirits coming for 2KT. Oh couple minutes, well, about like a minute or so, or a couple seconds, then we'll see. Here we go, we don't count to the first two speckles. Alright, oof. It's staying like that, so that's not, that must be my phone. Okay. Something. That. Yo, it's going red. All winds picking up. Actually, a nice breeze. So, what's causing that? Hmm. Can you go to the bed if there's any spirits here? I swear it's my phone, but. Uh, oh, went to bed. There's not my camera. So, it's. I hope you enjoyed that clip. Um, so we're at the Run Tower, and it's pretty cool. So if you don't know the history, it was that door open. Hey Becca, the door's open. Door's open. Well, slightly open. All right. So I got Rebecca along with me today. Yeah, it's open, like full and open. We'll just walk. So it's been mindful of snakes because it is summer here in Australia. Um, this is the first tower. Yo, it's open. Someone. You wanna. Might wanna go in? You know, I think it's best that I don't go in, but. Um, on my feed, I did stick a camera in through one of the towers, but. Um, you know, there's a, there's a ladder going to the top. I'm not going to bother because one, I don't want to fall and injure myself and have to call for an ambulance and explain myself to the cops on ambulance, but I'll just shove my camera in there. Careful. I, ah, it's biting on myself. It's, so we're going to start walking on aqueduct itself. Um, so as I was saying, the history, this aqueduct was operated in the 1800s to transport water from the Prospect Reservoir to um, like homes in the area and in the region. Um, we will come across some signs and we'll explain more. But yeah, so... This is like one of my first nighttime videos in like a long time. I can't remember the last nighttime video I did. Or nighttime ghost hunting video panel in the same video. Um, and I want to say thank you for the support on the last video on the abandoned exploration video. Even though it was a short run, it was really, really cool. It was a cool place and, and I'm really appreciated and really it's really cool to see uh, your guys' support. So, a bit of history. Um, the Beaver Town Aqueduct was completed in 1883 and the opening of the Upper New Pier in 1888. Um, yes, yeah, so this is the water, this is the map. So, here we like this. So, we are right there. And that's the Prospect Reservoir. 
The aqueduct is approximately 200 meters, 225 meters long, and and has 22 arches each of a, each of 9.1 meters span. And that's that's a uh, photo from 1918. Cool, pardon me. And yeah, so. Rebecca, you alright? Yeah. Just reading the last, little, last bit of history. A white elephant, despite providing a majestic landmark, Dakar Duck ultimately failed in its designed role. In 1892, the parapet walls of Dakar Duck collapsed from the pressure of the water the channel was carrying and crashed into the creek below. The walls were reconstructed, incorporating tie rods fixed on the outside, and the channel was concrete lined. Further failings led to the aqueduct being Bypassed by the brief town inverted siphon in 1907, and the aqueduct was retained for. I don't know what the hell. It's a quicker bar. Um, the aqueduct was retained for standby use if required for uh, with large concrete plugs by blocking the channel. Those are cooker bars. They scared the crap out of me. I don't want to spook them, but yeah. So we're now been walking the aqueduct, so I'll try to keep quiet in case any uh, spirits want to talk into their camera and just listen out to the nature. But um, <laughs> oh, it was a nice song. Those cockatoo knock. <laughs> cooker bells provided. Thank you, cooker bells. So look how creepy that is. Just nah. Not the walking on it. And um, the way, me, the way I went in my first video here to get to the bottom of that where the creek is. Um, that's like mad creepy, like really creepy. This is a shared path, so if you see anyone. Um, you know, be respectful and just move aside if they don't have to move, and so on and so forth. But now, um, yeah, no, so yeah, I was gonna be my wet pod here, but there are a lot of houses nearby, like there's literally some just across the road. Alright, uh, the, I keep saying cockatoos, I keep go to, I keep to go to say cockatoos, I mean the cockabouts, the cockabouts are providing us a nice lovely song, um, I never heard them in the dark and it's like kind of creepy but it's kind of cool at the same time, and look at the bugs, yeah, um, I could try and like stay from trees as well but there's bats out now, and I don't want to get scratched by that and, ah, uh, there's Becky, you have Rebecca? I'll wait for ya. Because you're my sister, my little sister. My partner in crime. My ghost hunting buddy. I was taking you're taking selfies with the Cook of song, were you? Yeah. You know I like this concert. I wonder when the where the Cook of Bells will go next. The moon. The moon. The moon. Yeah, so I see some light up ahead, I'm not sure. Could it be a street light because Louie the street's right there. That's just the street, so um, I'm gonna, you know, try not be as loud. You know, try to be respectful of the public. Uh, when we first came, I was showing Rebecca what the aqueduct is like and what it looks like, and um, and um, we saw a lot of people doing some nice evening tonight exercising or walks strolls and now just look at that there that's just a little bush the car is probably on the way it's probably on why is there a flashlight going to the bush um yeah 
but no, um, well, like I said, thank you for the support in the last video. Um, I'm absolutely appreciative and amazed with the support I got. I'm gonna try and keep a figure a week. Um, I bought it on Monday, but it was um, just Monday, you know. Not, everyone can watch a cool figure to start the week. And plus, Monday's the start of the week. Look at the moon. Look at the moon and the star. That's pretty. Look at the night sky. Um, what the, uh, I thought that sign was someone standing. I thought that sign was like someone standing. Someone charged right at them. Yes, Rebecca will charge at them like an aggressive little gremlin. You get, you get, <clears throat> you get bonus points if you if you run on your fours. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, but no. Nah, if we see someone standing, we're just gonna just probably stay clear and just always walk past and mind our own business. And yeah, um, and try not to make too much noise while panicking or running because. This is the jet, this is the, 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 the house nearby. And I've got a friend that lives near here, so if we need to run somewhere, we can run to uh, my friend's house. So we're at the second tower now, and just look at that. Oh my god, I love this shot the camera has. That is beautiful. That, is that how the dog was, like, dog bark was coming from? No, it's going down now. Okay. Kind of just echoes down for the houses nearby. Mm. Oh my god, so I gotta take a cut from the, the shot. Just watching it for, uh, for snakes as well. Um, can't really see in there. Oh, what the hell? Oh, it's just. That's not a snake, some, something. Alright. Yeah, hold on. Cool. All right, we're gonna head back, and we'll do a little K2 meter session at the uh, this tower, and we're gonna do um, want to do SS method? We'll go underneath where it's all creepy. Mm, that you don't want to? No. Right, well, no SS method then, but I can't do it by myself. And here's another little history thing. Um, so that's a view from, that's like a view from the west side, um, from Prospect Rocks west side in 1980, 1998, and same thing 1998, and that's the ins and outs of lines, have a look, ah, damn mozzies, and there's a pitcher of water, alright, awesome, and you can see a dude just standing there. Yeah, it looks like there's someone like an overhead behind the dude, but I can't tell if it's no person or what not. Alright, let's head to the tower. What tower? That one. Oh. Alrighty. Got another car just passing us. Try to walk on the concrete side. They get like bendies and stuff on my shoe and pants. Now straight down this dirt path, you can get down to a creek. Um, so, all right, so we'll have a look at the platform. Alrighty, hold on. Just one hand in this with a torch. Oh, yeah, so we are standing, right, let's be careful Becky, so we are standing directly above the canal, I thought it was someone standing right there, so yeah, it's the canal, and down in here is the t inside the tower. And let's 
so on. Why is the torch look so different if I can uh, there's like a blue light line to it and almost oh damn dog that scared me and there's someone there yeah alright um huh no it's not our dog oh no it sounds like a person skinwalker <laughs> we have skinwalkers in Australia in cryptid wise I don't think a lot of our cryptids um, uh, seem to derive from, not der derive, arrive from Aboriginal, Indigenous Aboriginal culture, which is awesome. Um, I do want to do some cryptid hunting, like on a channel, maybe, like later on. Um, what are you? Um, see it in there. Um, I can't fit both hands free, so I'll be able to go for there. So now, um, so back up, um, I'm gonna cut the camera. Maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna discuss, but I'm gonna do the paranormal side of this now. And go on from there. I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay. Yo, that's weird. Okay, I was just testing the EMF, hold on. Okay, so it's clearly detecting the torch. I just want to check that out. Okay, um, so I'm gonna put that just right there. Okay. Um, hello. Are there any spirits here? If so, can you come to the K2 meter, the pretty lights? It'll let me know you're around. That's where it's going off that hunt. Okay, torch is not there. That's the spirit box. Oh, it's on. What? I've never seen this blue light before. Oh, it's temperature. What? I must have turned it on by accident. Hold on. I didn't know. Oh, let's just turn it off. No, huh? Oh, okay. So there's a button on the side for that. But then... What's that? Okay, that's weird. Um, uh, do you, if you know what's making my sister uneasy, can you light the K2 up? So, we're, we're, when we were sus, we were checking this place there, we went underneath the, underneath the aqueduct where I read it, EMF ran off in my first video. Um, Okay, there's a little rustiness right near me. And, okay. Okay. Do you, if you remember me from last time, can you light the K2 up? Okay, as I was saying, you guys, um, the, the, um, Becca felt uneasy and she sent something, so I'm not sure. Maybe somebody's just telling her not to go there or doesn't want us there or something, I'm not sure. So we're just gonna respect we're just gonna respect it and we're gonna sit just do a quick email session here in spare box here. The blue lights on the hill. What it's off. I must have bumped it. I'm gonna uh, turn the cater off now. If you wanna make yourself known, do it now. It's weird. The temperature lights on but I don't I haven't and temp what uh I don't know how to that's temp reset I pressed how do I um okay it's weird alright thank you for your time I'm gonna do a quick spirit box session thank you okay Let's do a quick spirit box session. Let's check my surroundings again. Are you okay, Rebecca? Alright. I'm almost done. Yeah, so Rebecca doesn't get scared by a lot, and it kind of concerns me that whatever something's just made her uneasy, and now my spirit box is just 
um, acting up. So, let's do a quick spare box session, shall we? Oh, I'm just gonna... And... Hello, I don't need spirits here. How many spirits are here? So I press that button but the temperature's going off. Alright. Do you know what's making my sister uneasy? About underneath the aqueduct? Okay, thank you. I'm gonna, um, do you remember me from last time? Okay. Do you know anything about this place? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now. Is there any final messages you want to say? If, if you have any final messages, say them now. Okay. Thank you for your time. You can't follow us or attach yourself to us, and you can't follow us home. You gotta stay here. Thank you for your time, and have a good day. Okay, that's weird. Um, I might just take the batteries out of camera, but the thing is, so I just want to say something right here. Um, I would never manipulate a video. Um, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna cut and put everything right now and make a little outro, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, it stopped when I said that. Alright, um, thanks for watching this video, everyone. So I just want to point one thing out. Me pressing that button was just me trying to turn the temperature off. I don't know how to work that spirit box fully because it does have a temperature feature. But, um, is that you walking? Oh, yeah, mate. I'm trying to find a way out here now. Oh, so, um, I just want to just say that now, I know there's a lot of like, I know there are some fake stuff on YouTube and you're supposed to fake it, that's done, they can do that, I wait fake for a video, um, I do want to apologise and say sorry we didn't go underneath the aqueduct like I did in the first video, but Rebecca was uncomfortable and I wanted her to feel safe and therefore, um, respect whatever's down there is making it uneasy. Rebecca doesn't get scared easy. It takes a lot even for me. Um, but um, that's coming into this video. I'll try and come back and do a speed box session. Maybe I don't know. If you want me to do that, let me know in the comments. Um, but it's just that something here made Rebecca uneasy. And I'm just concerned for Rebecca's safety and well-being. But besides that... Thanks for watching, thanks for supporting me lately. If you want to help the channel grow, feel free to subscribe. I've now been your host, Rodney, thanks for watching. And make and check out the Instagram page and Facebook page in the bottom. I've been your host, Rodney, thanks for watching. And stay safe and peace.